Hello my dear students, here is again your computer Wunsam and today I will show you what you can do with layers in a very specific way. What we can do in fact is just use this layer and put something new on it, for instance the face of a bear. So at first let's start with the usual step, we need to cut out our rubber duck. Again we need to select the right background, then press delete. And as you can see, delete isn't working. What we need to do is add the alpha channel and then we can delete it. Maybe you have realized that some of the pictures upon using the fuzzy select tool have this weird border, this weird white, whitish border. And that's because the fuzzy select tool is sometimes not capable of differentiating between the border and the picture in itself. There is however a small method to solve this. You can press the right mouse button, use select and then you can draw the selection or enlarge the selection by pressing grow and there opens a small window. Here you can see grow selection by a specific amount of pixels. Usually one pixel is enough and now you can see that everything outside of the rubber duck is selected, especially this weird border. Now if we press Dell, the whole rubber duck has gotten rid of this weird white line. As I said before, we are inserting a picture of a gigantic bear onto our cute rubber ducky. Here is our suspect. So our bear. And what we are going to do is at first zoom in. As you can see the bear is very scruffy and if we select the fuzzy select tool here we can see that most of the times it selects weirdly which we can't use in fact for any form of selections. For instance if I copy this and create a, something from the clipboard you can see that this scurvy thing happens. I will close this, this card changes, and then I go back to our bear. We are going to use the free select tool to select exactly the face of our bear. Now to be, uh, be sure that you have selected the current selector, the correct selector, which is replace the current selector, which means if even if we have selected everything in here, we can now select what we want. However, we also have the possibility to select no nothing by pressing select and then press none. So now we need to work a little bit precisely, but not too precisely. In fact, we can make it like this. So the bear will be surrounded by this weird lasso. And after we surrounded by the bear and we are done, we can just press double click and then you can see the bear is very good surrounded and we can now choose it. Now, however, we also have the possibility to change our selection a little bit by using this add to the current selection or remove or subtract from the current selection. We can, for instance, subtract this thing here. Um, there's also this little bug if you don't change the free select tool after using it. But here in this case, I have used it like this so we can we can in fact subtract something from the current selection and as you can see I've subtract, subtracted a little bit too much therefore we have to add something again and again we need to change the selection here so now let's get this here and again double click to add to the selection and now it should be okay however we still can change some things a little bit later so it doesn't need to be totally precise. In fact, I prefer to choose a little bit more outside of the picture we are trying to cut out because we can erase the things afterwards. But now I need to copy this by edit copy or control C and then create from clipboard. And as you can see, we got our mama bear here. Looks very grumpy. I make them look even more grumpier. 
But at first we need to get rid of these lines here, which represent the background. What we can do is use the eraser. However, watch for the size here, because if the size is too big, as you can see, um, most of the bear is gone and you can't even see the brush in itself here. In fact, it is way too big. Um, for these things, I prefer to use a brush which isn't too hard, in fact. Okay, now I've chosen the brush and now I can just delete the parts which I don't need. It is okay if the bear looks a little bit fuzzy, because most bears look a little bit fuzzy, funnily enough. But as you can see, the deletion process of the outer space works very good. So as you can see, I've inserted a little bit of a corner here. Doesn't look perfectly, but it still works like this, because the eraser is quite a smart tool if you use the correct brush. You technically can use the eraser also on the outer side here, on the neck. And then it looks like it's a little bit floating on a berry like crown. Now we have finished our little bear. What we need to do is copy the bear by edit, copy, and then let's insert the bear on our little rubber ducky here. Right mouse button, edit, and paste. Okay. It worked like this amazingly. Now we just need to change a little bit of the specs. As you can see, the bear is a little bit too big. However, we can technically adjust it like this, so it should look good enough. However, you still have the possibility to change the size of your layer or of the image in itself by using the image and then use the canvas size. And increase it a little bit in the height in the height let's say 400 and then move this a little bit below and then we can press resize and as you can see there is a new border a little bit above so one important thing is we need to make sure that there is no floating selection that we create a new layer out of this okay as you can see it has the pasted layer copy name and it looks already quite a little bit dangerous, however, it doesn't look perfectly. What we want to do is change a little bit of the color here. And we want it to look like the bear is in fact the same color of the rubber duck here. We can do this by selecting in fact the color of the rubber duck. But how do we know what color it is? Here is this very amazing tool here, namely called the color picker tool. And as you assume, we can pick any color we want to see. For instance, if we go at the nose of the bear, we don't see too much changing. But if we go here on the nose, you can see that the color has changed. If we go on the ear of the bear, it is again a little bit blacker. And most importantly, if we want to change the color of the bear in the color of the rubber duck, then we need to choose the color of the rubber duck, which is this weird yellow. So. Technically, you can do this also in any other form of tool. For instance, if I open the colors, you can also use the color picker tool here. Here we can see the HTML notation, which is very important for our task. As you can see, the color here is F4C201. The color is separated in three parts. The first two are the red color, which is F4. And in the hexadecimal system, it is one of the highest values of 244. Remember, the max value for hexadecimal colors is 255, which is FF. Then we have C2, which is not as strong as the red color in our case, but it is strong enough to have a very strong influence. Usually it is like this because yellow has in fact a very big combination of red and green. As you can see here on the sliders too, and then there's the zero one, which is the blue value. It is the smallest value as you can assume. And all of these are necessary to use our next tool. So we press OK. After copying the HTML notation, Control C, press OK. And now we are using one tool in colors. There are very interesting tools, in fact, like color balance, 
saturation exposure. I will show them in a later video. But as a spoiler for the later videos, there is the tool Colorwise. As you can see, our bear has a weirdly strange bluish color, like say like this, which is more like cyan, and it's the standard color usually. But what we don't want to have is a yellow duck with a blue bear head. So what we need to do is select the color, here use the HTML notation and insert our color which we have copied, the F4C201. Now we press OK and as you can see the bear has reached this beautiful yellow color. Now we'll press OK and now we are as good as ready to prepare our bear for his very last step and his rest of the days in prison. Okay, therefore we need our third picture, the beautiful prison picture, and at first we need to copy our bear, and as you assume maybe, if we just edit and copy the picture, we just get only the bear head, which is a little bit unfortunate. I will undo this again, but what we can do is create new from visible, and then as you can see, there is a new layer, which is in fact the visible layer, and then we have the possibility to press the right mouse button and copy. Now, the difference between the visible layer and the two layers here below is that the copy, uh, that copy just copies the simple layer which we are using now. In our case, this was the bear. However, if we copy it from the visible layer, then we get everything of the picture here. And as you can see, it's finally here in the prison cell. However, it doesn't look quite correct. We can make it to a new layer, but the bear looks like it is in front of the prison cell. We still can change its size by using the unified transform tool and put it anywhere here. And after this, we should be capable of putting our bear behind bars usually. How does this work? As you can see, we have selected a prison cell. If we use the fuzzy select tool now, we can select anything here in the prison cells, especially the bars. Now why is it so important? Because we just can copy the bars and paste them. As you can see, nothing has changed this in this picture. We again make a new layer, but we are now capable of adding our little bear to a layer behind this pasted layer. As you can see, there is the pasted layer, which only has the bars. Then there is our little bear, or bear duck, and in the final layer, there is the prison cell in itself, which is technically unchanged. It looks like the bear is in fact behind bars, but it isn't too accurate in this case. The final thing what I want you to do is putting the bear also behind the bed. And this is also quite simple, but at first we need to get rid of the bear for the moment. We just can click here on the eye, and as you can see the bear is invisible, and we only need to select the bed now. Now we have the possibility to use it like this. However, it's a little bit tedious, and I guess it's better to use the free select tool in this case. Because the free select tool has a specific feature if you only click once. As you can see, you're getting this simple line here to get the correct selection. If you don't hold down the free select tool, you just can make it like this in f specific lines. So here, and after this, just double click. And now we can just copy this one. However, we, we made a simple error here because we've selected the add to the current selection. We usually need only the replace the current selector tool, but that's no problem at all. What we just need to do is again use the free select tool, or we can also use the so-called fuzz, uh, the fuzzy select tool. And now just get rid of this little layer here. Hold the control key down or press subtract from the current selection. And as you can see here, the points are gone here and this little point also is here and now it should look like the bed is alone here. 
okay? Now, um, make sure that you are on the correct layer, because if I only copy the pasted layer here, which has the bars, then it doesn't work. Or if I choose this layer, then I just copy the bear's marvelous uh, six-pack or something like this. So make sure that you are on the correct layer, the prison cell.png layer in this case. And now I just copy it. And now create to new layer. As you can see, the rubber duck is still in the front. But now we can move the pasted layer above. Now there is this little problem here with this corner here, but this is something which can be solved by being, in fact, very lazy. We just move the bear and the duck here, and it's done. As you can see, you can also move the other pasted layer, but make sure that you have selected the correct layer here. And here it is, our bear behind bars. I'm very happy that you've entered the course and I hope to see your beautiful pieces of art the next days or weeks. Yours truly, Computer Bonsai.